Let me begin by uh, greeting you all in my own language, Bangla. I don't think anyone has ever spoken Bengali in this hall. So I would take that opportunity. Shubha Bikal Bontura. Good evening, friends. Uh, I would like to tell you more about our struggle. We consider our battle important in defending our national interest. We are in this battle because we want the global community to know that our territory is not to be treated as a dumping site. We wanted to remind our government of its legal obligations to protect its territory, the people, and the environment from the curse of such unregulated dumping and havoc of pollution. It was crucial to challenge a business that takes the environment and the laborers for granted. We wanted to stand by the laborers who, due to their extreme poverty and without having any understanding, are being exposed by the shipwreckers to the hazards of pollutants like PCB, asbestos, TBT, and so on. For them, it is not a choice between employment and unemployment, but between exploitation and unemployment. Let me share with you an important victory for our cause after years of struggle. In a landmark judgment given by the Supreme Court of Bangladesh on 16th March 2009, the court has imposed restrictions on the import of all Greenpeace listed ships and directed pre-cleaning of all ships at origin or before entering Bangladesh. That means That means that now no ship that contains pollutants or contaminants can enter my country, Bangladesh. Uh, while the court has directed that regulations be framed within three months, it has also directed that the ship breaking yards not complying with labor and environmental regulations will be shut down. As the first Bangladeshi Goldman Prize recipient, I believe this award, I, I uh, received this award with a deep sense of gratitude for sensitizing an issue that is a classic case of environmental, injust environmental justice and is of crucial importance for the dignity and self-respect of the people of Bangladesh. While I thank the Goldman Foundation for choosing me for this prestigious award, I must admit that the credit of this achievement goes equally to all my colleagues at Bella and to all our friends and allies at home and abroad. Let all our dreams for dignified life and a safe world come true. Thank you, Mr. Goldman. Thanks to the Goldman Foundation. And thank you, San Francisco.